This video was produced in cooperation between the Munich Refugee Council and the Bavarian Refugee Council. We are an independent human rights organization and work for the rights of refugees. It is important for refugees to know their rights well. This is why we have made these videos. Asylum Procedure The first thing you need to do is to file an asylum claim. You can do this, for example, at a police station or at an arrival centre. At the arrival centre, you will be registered as an asylum seeker. Beware! All the documents, papers and ID cards you have are very important. Make sure you take a picture of these or keep a copy of each document. If you are told to hand in your documents or items such as your mobile phone or laptop, request written confirmation of this and make sure each item is listed. You have the right to such written confirmation. Keep this confirmation in a secure place. Make sure that all your personal details are spelt correctly on each document. Check the spelling. Personal details are your surname, first names, your date of birth, place of birth and so on. Your identity will be verified. This means that the German authorities will check whether your documents are authentic or forged. When you are registered at the arrival centre, the decision will also be made as to where you will have to stay during your asylum procedure. Let them know if there are certain things that should be taken into account. For example, if you have any illnesses or are not well and for that reason cannot live in a camp. Let them know if you are less than 18 years old. You will be able to receive more support in this case. Also, let them know if you have family or any relatives in Germany. After your registration, there will be several interviews. They are decisive for your asylum procedure. Get consultation before the interviews. Check the information board in your camp every day and inform yourself whether you have received any mail. The dates for the interviews are sent by postal mail or are posted on the information board. If you can't make it to an appointment due to illness, it is very important that you cancel that appointment and get a medical report from a doctor. The interviews are conducted by two separate authorities, the government and the BAMF, BAMF. The government wants to know who you are in an interview. They want to clarify your identity and know how you came to Germany. In a first interview, the BAMF will check whether Germany or another country is responsible for your asylum procedure. This will determine whether your asylum procedure takes place in Germany or in another country. In the second interview, the BAMF examines whether you will receive protection in Germany. The two interviews at the BAMF sometimes take place on the same day. The BAMF will inform you about its decision in a so-called Bescheid. The date of delivery on the envelope is very important. Write down on which day you received the letter and keep the letter together with the envelope. If the decision is positive, you will receive protection and will get a residence permit for Germany. If the decision is negative, you can appeal against this at the administrative court. Find a lawyer specialised in asylum law. If the decision is negative because you are in the Dublin procedure, this means that not Germany, but another country is responsible for your asylum procedure. You can appeal against the Dublin decision at the administrative court. Regardless of the information you have received, you should quickly look for an information or consultation centre. Act quickly, since you have to file the appeal within a certain period of time. But the time limit for the appeal is very short. You can get advice from social services or a local aid organisation. You can ask whether you need a lawyer at the consultation centre. If the appeal is negative, you may be able to get another residence permit, for example through an apprenticeship. Get some advice on this. The asylum procedure can take a very long time. Make good use of this time. Learn German. Go to school if possible. Try to get to know people outside of your camp. Important. During your asylum process, you must live in a camp. If you are planning on spending a longer period outside of the camp, you have to inform the social services in your camp and the government. It is possible that the authorities will require you to obtain a passport. In this case, you should definitely go to an independent consultation centre. Only contact your embassy after having received advice. 
We wish you all the best with your asylum procedure. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.